Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's game two between our fellow M2 and Shape, and I'm joined, as always, on this cast by my two really good friends, Mr. Gotham Work and Mr. Karthik Gopal. Hey, 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 this is K to the K, K, ha, Kuski, Kuski, hi. Okay, Kuski, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was a horrible intro. Anyway, this is game two. Uh, we just saw game one, and we had run over a couple of points where the Zerg shouldn't have double expanded, and I don't think he'll have the opportunity to do it in this map unless he's, like, walking across planets. So hopefully we won't see a double expand. We do see Protoss on the top um, going for the nine pylon scout, and oh, the Zerg actually does that extractor trick kind of thing, uh, and he tries to get a population. I don't know. I think he's probably going to get speed earlier this time and go into three gates. What do you think, Gautam? Well, so far it looks uh, pretty standard. He's hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, good, good, good. Well, so far everything is pretty standard. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. He's getting his three drones when his overload just popped. We'll see what he does. Clearly, okay, we know he's a bronze league player, and I think for a bronze league player, he's pretty good. And uh, the other, on the other side, we have uh, Protoss, who's diamond. So uh, we're not gonna actually, as you said before, we're not gonna uh, critique on what's going on. We're just gonna go up and overall, we're gonna help the Zerg out in this game. Okay, we'll see if we can point out some things for him and see if it may helps him overall. So, Akshat will uh, take it away from here. Okay? Well, I actually feel that uh, being a person who plays Protoss most of the time, I think that this is going to be an interesting matchup. This, the difference between them is not the difference between a, di uh, a diamond and a bronze. Uh, I see Shape just going for a double gas uh, before his cybernetic which is an interesting straight off play which says this is going to be a big stalker and uh, I would venture to say maybe stalkers uh, with uh, sentries and that's the play which is going to be. The thing is how will Zerg re react and you see he's already got his spawning pool down, it's just finished, it's something that he's moving towards so I, I actually think that our dear Emnu is going to go and give a good account of himself. I'm actually not sure this because uh, Protoss <laughs> player took the gas, uh, dual gas quite fast, because but he put the probes really, really late. It was because of the last game, actually, because he took uh, our guy, Zerg guy, stole, the gas. A, mm. stole the gas. So he didn't want that, so yeah, he just yeah. took the gas early, so he just wanted to avoid. Another pointer for Zerg, uh, for Zerg player here is that he can actually keep his drone alive up to 4 minutes and 50 seconds in-game. There's no nothing a Protoss player can do. And it's a high recommended. You can even put him on patrol. He could just keep me running around. The Zealot is never going to catch him. So you can actually annoy him. If you need some weird, you can find out he's not putting down his tech. So my recommendation would be to leave that probe inside his base up to 4 minutes at least. So... What do you guys think? Like, a, as think a, that's a very good, that's a very good uh, suggestion, and I think all of us, do, even at uh, Diamond, forget to go just put the probe in or the drone into a pilot sequence. That holding pattern gives you so much visibility, and even if you are playing against Terran, um, they even with the Marine there, you still get about three and a half to four minutes of great sighting. Which is basically the start, which uh, lets you know what's really happening in the game. Again, yeah, so it's highly recommended because... against Protoss. Against yeah, Protoss, totally I right highly because... recommend leaving. Dude, I heard you the you first time. You tell me, Kate. <laughs> Listen, uh, tell me, Kate. Like, tell me when does your first uh, sentry or stalker comes out? At what time does it come out if you're doing a uh, normal play like this? Yeah, you're right. See, uh, about four minutes is when usually you'd get the first stalker if you're getting stalker. But generally what happens here is, oh, he actually slipped in the drone to the Protoss base. And now technically he can check the gases and find out, but he's already seen the sentry. So he knows what the gas was used for. The problem is if you don't, like, you know, your point is extremely vital because if you don't send the drone out and he saw that he's taken dual gas, it could be DTs, it could be void ray rushes. 
it could be stalker sentry um, i mean it could be stalker sentry or you know blink stalker basically the zerg has no idea so it's extremely important like you said to keep the drone alive and to make sure that you know they understand what the protoss is up to because zerg as we all know is probably the most reactive race i guess the problem is you know even being a diamond level uh, player shape has stopped his pro production or stopped his pro production for a very long time which he didn't have to do uh, he could have saturated his main base and then transferred what do you think akshar i i think that uh, this is i still believe that these guys are going to give a good account of uh, each other and uh, with the game just 6 minutes 59 seconds into this uh, entire sequence i believe that this is this game is going to go about 15 20 minutes it is something that will develop as a game where the protoss will i think it, you know the protoss is i feel he's going to win but and he's going to win because he knows his basic mechanics of uh expansion timings or uh of unit composition and even uh micro of force field Going to be really strong. Uh, you just see that the robotics is going to come. I'd venture that there are going to be a couple of stalkers in this game before the 12-minute mark is over. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, Col- uh, Colossi in the game before the 12-minute mark is over. Hey, Gautam, I noticed that he's getting both the hydrolisk research and the roach research, and he's got an evolution chamber which is getting the missile as well. Do you think Zerg technically can afford all of these things? He can't be affording. The thing is, he's spending a lot of money on research right now. He, if you look at his army count, well, actually, now mm-hmm. he's just built something. He's at five hundred. The thing is, he could, knowing the fact that uh, the Protoss is doing his century expand, he can either choose to get his third base right away, or he can choose to just drone up. I think he has done neither of them, and he has decided to spend all his minerals into upgrades and getting hydrolisks. Uh, I don't know why exactly he's going hydrolisk right now. He's even got. Uh, I think he should go scout first before picking hydrolisk. But if he's going, like for example, in this case, he has put down uh, robotics way hydrolisk. Hydrolisk would be useless. His creep spread could be better. I think. Uh, you know what? But still, as a bronze level player, I think he's doing pretty well. He's breaking the rocks. He's expanding now. So he's. on the mark i think he's just going to be behind in macro which is really import- important for zerk so he's just cross protoss probe number by just now he's gone to 49 by 42 which is not recommended which is strange, he should be right? ahead yeah. the whole time exactly he and it's also really ahead. It, exactly you're looking at a diamond versus a bronze level player so technically you'd expect a m- huge difference in work account which Actually, just happened at post the ten minute mark, right, Akshat? Yeah. What do you think? Well, yeah, uh, the I I do believe that these guys are. Uh, <laughs> I just feel bad for the joke right now. I'm so sorry. I th- I think uh, the the lack of scouting and you know there is there is the reason why people say mechanics and I think it might be a complicated concept, but I believe mechanics is this. mechanics is knowing at what time the other guy can go and build certain amounts of information so you see uh this is about 10:46 you see this is the second 